Hello friends, welcome back to automationtestingsaturday.com. So in the last video we talked about uh, how to handle tooltip and in this video I will show you how to work with multi-select actions. I mean how to handle multi-select actions. Okay. So some sometimes we would be in a situation where we have to select multiple items from list box, either from list box or from text area. So and the question is how to handle that kind of scenarios. Okay. So let me just give you an example so that you can understand and then we'll see uh, see a demo like how to handle that kind of scenario. So if you navigate to my blog automationtestingsider.com so just click on demo websites. So here we have one link Selenium Easy Demo website. Just click on that. And here we have list box jQuery list box, okay? So this is an example like uh, here we have, we need to select from this pick list. Uh, so suppose I want to select uh, multiple options, multiple items from here. Okay, so how would you select? So manually how would you select? Uh, you press control and then select one by one. Okay. So we'll automate this like how to work with this kind of scenarios. So Eclipse is already open. So here I will create new class. I will select multi select actions and I will select public static void main. Here also we will use actions class. Okay. So let me just copy a few lines of code to launch the browser. Okay. And uh, I'll change the URL. I'll give this URL. Okay. So let's first create the object of actions class because anyways we are going to use this. So actions and we have to pass the driver. So my actions I have created the object of actions class and what is next so we have to inspect this one right so let's inspect the whole elements and we'll store in a list okay so let's copy this class and select tag thread class attribute we have I am writing the X path for all the elements okay and then we have this option so here you can see 15 elements for 5 of 15 so we can use this X path to get all the elements okay first of all we'll store this in a list okay all the web elements so that's why I have written xpath like this so let's copy this driver dot find elements we have to use find elements because we have list of items list of web elements okay by dot xpath and simply we have to give the whole xpath here last I'll give semicolon and here we'll store in a list list of web elements we have to import list from java.util java.util package and import web element from org.openqa.selenium So let's do like this. I think we have extra. Yeah, now it is fine. Now what we have done, we have uh, we have inspected this element and we have captured all the items, the list of items. Okay. Now we'll perform our actions. Okay. Different. So first of all, we have to press. Uh, control key and 
select this one okay so how to do that we have keys keys down okay let me just show you as we have already discussed about this one key down modifier key so whenever we use any modifier keys like shift control alt we can use this method key down performs a modifier key press okay so that's why i'm using this and inside that keys dot control control like this we can use okay and the second thing is later on we have to perform click operation web element and we can use list dot get we have get method right so suppose i want index first or zero so we'll give like this right so from list we are getting the elements right list dot get method so this from any list we can get the uh, elements from using get method right get index of zero so it will give me this element similarly let's or let's just copy paste suppose you want uh, four elements so let me just select zero let's say two second index let's say four and let's say fifth element so you can do like this and once you select all the items you have to you have to release the control key right so for that we have uh, a method called key up so we can simply we can apply that key up and this one and keys dot control sounds good and at last we have to build and perform okay and what we can do we can store in action we can create action interface variable and we can store all these actions let's say actions and we have to import these actions from open dot org dot open qa dot selenium dot interactions okay and simply we have to give mouse over and later on we have to perform we have to perform this we have, using perform method we have to perform all the actions together okay and what else will do let's click on after selecting all the items let's click on this add button so just inspect this so we'll use this class div bread class and then button we have button after this div tag okay so this is button and then we'll we can say like first okay we can write expert like this as well so that add is the first item so we can give like this so here you can see one of one element so we can use this expert so simply copy paste that one driver dot find element by dot x path and here I'll give the whole x path and at last I'll give click method okay and before clicking on add before clicking on add let's wait for two seconds so that we can see and at last driver dot close before closing the browser also let's wait for two seconds so we can easily 
see what is happening okay so all done so simply let me just run this program so browser is launched navigating to selenium easy and now it will select one by one all the items you can see first third fourth and fifth click on add and later on close the browser okay you can validate also like what are the items uh, selected and using if else you can capture all the item selected items okay at right side and then you can capture in a list and you can verify that you can do that so this is how you can work with uh, whenever uh, whenever we come across at such kind of uh, scenarios okay you can use uh, you can uh, work like this okay you can automate like this so let me just recap what we have done so these two launch the browser and we are navigating to this brow uh, this URL okay and we have created the object of actions class and uh, we get the list of items from pick list okay we got the uh, we uh, got the list of items and we have stored in in a list and from this uh, from here we have performed different actions using different methods like key down we kept press control key and then selected different items using get method okay and at last we what we have done we have captured the x path of uh, this add button and later on we have clicked on that so this is how you can work so in the next video i'll show you how to work with uh, mouse over and auto suggestion so thank you guys for watching have a nice day bye bye